Beyonce's Cowboy Carter album cover is full of gems. Let's start with the fact that she's wearing red, white and blue and carrying an American flag. When you think of country music, patriotism and nationalism are definitely high factors. But some people were thrown off by this and they were thinking that Beyonce representing America in such a big way went against what she's all about, such as black empowerment, etc. I had a comment that said, out of all the colors in the world, she chose to rock America, shaking my head. And I replied, she's an American, so it's not uncanny for her to have her country's flag. But it is said that white people have oppressed the black people for so long, to the point that the flag now represents nothing good in a black person's eyes. But it's not too late to take back some power, and I think that's the path Beyonce is on. That's what this whole three-act project is about, reclaiming genres that black people either started or heavily influenced but got pushed out of. Also, her sitting on a horse with the flag could be seen as her putting herself in an authoritative position since presidential portraits were done this way like George Washington. It could also represent rodeo queens. A rodeo queen is a female representative and face of the sport of rodeo. She represents her rodeo association or region for a standard time of usually 12 months and is usually required to wear a cowboy hat, crown, and sash with her title on it. There aren't many black rodeo queens, which further shows how much black people are overlooked when it comes to anything country related. I've already talked about the type of horse she's sitting on and why. Be sure to check that out as well. The title Cowboy Carter also has a lot to unpack, which I will explore in my next video, so be sure to subscribe. Like, comment, and thanks for watching.